Hello everyone, today we will delve into an interesting topic, can a soda can really unlock all terrestrial TV channels? In addition, we will explore antenna designs to improve reception. Join us and discover more about this intriguing phenomenon. Guide for creating an antenna with a soda can. Gather the materials. One soda can with a diameter of 6.6 .6 cm and a length of 17 cm. One insulating plate of 1 cm by 7 cm by 7 cm. One sheet of aluminum or galvanized metal. Tools. Scissors drill, and drill bits. Preparation of the soda can. Clean and completely empty the soda can. Preparation of the insulating plate. Mark a circle on one side of the insulating plate with the same diameter of 6.6 .6 centimeters. Cutting the can and the plate. With a hacksaw blade, carefully cut out the marked circle on the can. Cutting the aluminum or galvanized sheet. Cut out the circle formed in the sheet to create the elements that will serve as support for the antenna. On the insulating base, we will place one of the radiating elements, an aluminum or copper tube with a diameter of 4 to 6 millimeters and a minimum length of 20 centimeters, which will later be cut to the antenna's design size. This tube is secured in the center of the insulating base using a 1 half inch long wood screw. Drilling holes. Use the drill to make holes at the ends of the aluminum or galvanized strips. Make corresponding holes in the soda can, ensuring they align with the holes in the sheets. Ensure to follow these steps carefully to ensure a precise and secure assembly of your antenna.
On the galvanized plate, we will install a 1 half inch PVC plug to connect the other elements. To secure the galvanized sheet, you can use self-tapping screws or rivets, depending on the situation. guide for assembling the antenna mount materials needed two pieces of one half inch pvc pipe one and a half inch pvc t joint one impedance transformer from 300 to 75 ohms screws and necessary tools steps preparation of pvc pipes use two pieces of one half inch pvc pipe ensure they have the necessary length for the mount connection with the pvc t joint assemble the two pieces of one half inch pvc pipe to the one half inch pvc t joint to form a t shaped structure Incorporation of the impedance transformer. Connect the impedance transformer from 300 to 75 ohms to the top of the PVC T joint. Ensure it is securely fixed. Placement on the can. Crossing both ends of the transformer. Take one end to the body of the can on the opposite side. Secure the connection. Connection with the aluminum rod. Direct the other end of the transformer towards the aluminum rod on the insulator. Connect both parts with a screw. Completion of the mount. Ensure all connections are firm and secure. Adjust the position of the mount to ensure a stable connection between the transformer and the antenna. With these steps, you have completed the installation of the antenna mount, effectively connecting the impedance transformer. Now your antenna is ready to be used.
final steps to adjust frequencies. Identification of frequency range. Mark a distance of 18.3 centimeters from the insulator to the end of the rod. Trimming the excess. Use the appropriate tools to cut the excess from the rod following the established mark. Expected outcome. By making this cut, the aim is to tune the antenna for frequencies from 470 to 700 megahertz. Verification. Ensure that the cut has been made precisely, as this will influence the antenna's ability to capture the desired frequencies. With these steps, you have adjusted the length of the rod to achieve optimal performance in the specific frequency range of 470 to 700 megahertz. Your antenna is now ready to provide efficient reception on those frequencies. Installation on the external part of the house. Location of the support pole. Place the support pole at a minimum height of 2 meters in an external location on the house. Ensure it is securely fixed and capable of supporting the antenna. Orientation towards the repeater. Adjust the antenna's direction towards the television operator's repeater. You can use tools such as a compass to ensure proper alignment. Attachment of the antenna to the pole. Mount the antenna on the support pole, making sure it is securely fastened. Adjust the orientation as needed to obtain the best signal. Connection. Connection of the downlead coaxial cable. Connect the downlead coaxial cable from the antenna to the television. Ensure the connection is secure and well protected against harsh weather conditions. TV tuning. Turn on the television and perform a channel search to tune in to all available stations. Adjust the antenna's orientation as necessary to achieve the best signal quality. Verification and adjustment. Check the signal quality and channel reception. If needed, make adjustments to the antenna's orientation to optimize performance. With these steps, you have installed your antenna on the external part of the house and are ready to enjoy television channels for free. Remember to make adjustments as necessary to achieve the best reception results. Final message and farewell. Thank you for joining us on this exciting RF antenna designs adventure. We hope this guide has been helpful in creating your own antenna and enhancing your TV experience. If you enjoyed exploring the fascinating world of antennas and are looking for more exclusive content, we invite you to subscribe to RF antenna designs. By subscribing, you'll receive updates, advanced tips, and exclusive projects directly to your inbox. Don't miss out on the latest innovations and discoveries in the world of antennas. Subscribe now to continue exploring new possibilities and take your TV experience to the next level. Thanks again for being part of our community. Until next time, enjoy your favorite channels with your new RF antenna. Satellite Dish 1